Hi friends, I hope you all are fine. It's Nadeem here with another YouTube tutorial on Plexus 2D and it applies to 3D as well. Today I will show you how to import the material properties for the sheets and the beams. Uh, it is quite a handy tool uh, uh, when you are designing a shoring. Um, sometimes you know you'll be you need to look at the client piling handbook or similar to find the details uh, to, to to find the properties of uh, any sheet, and they are in uh, centimeter cube per meter, and in the plexus want them in uh, meter cube per meter on, or there is always a uh, confusion with the uh, with the, the units. So I'll tell you how to get away with the, all of this. What you need to do is go on plexus website. So here I am on Plexus website, material parameter and data set for sheet files and beams. These files are readily downloadable and uh, you can use them for both Plexus 2D and 3D. Uh, here we are, you've got the U section files, Z sections and for the 3D again, you've got U section and Z section and 3D beams, IP, HE, all kind of things, right? So these are readily available. All you need to do is uh, download these here, you know, in, in, uh, why would you need it? So click here, download. And I'll show you one more thing why this downloaded. Here is a uh, Plexus uh, material and data set for the plate sheet wall in bending for 3D. There is a Plexus um, Excel sheet available. Uh, which can be used and if you got you know any piling handbook or blue book where you got the uh, known parameters in centimeter four per meter round or centimeter square per meter round and it will convert it for you in kilonewton per meter square which is the input for plexus 2d or 3d okay i'll give you the link for both of this now my file is downloaded and how to own the import this into plexus Go on to material, show materials and you need to be under plates. So once you are under plates, go and show global and select. This needs to be your file path for the, the downloadable file. Or And here we are, I've got the Plexus sheet file profile for 2D and if I open it and here we are. All the AUZ sections, AZ sections, up to AZ50, um, GU25, 50, GU GU section, PU section, you name it, everything is there. Yeah? So, what you need to do is if you want a, for example, let's say you want AZ19, just click on there and double click there and it will give you all the parameters EA, EI. Why would you need? And these are your uh, for pure classification uh, parameters are also included there. So this is for elastoplastic. If you want to change it for just for elastic, some of these parameters will go away. But for if you want to do a full elastoplastic uh, uh, behavior, if you want to model a full elastoplastic behavior of the sheet files, then you need all these parameters. I hope you find this useful. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.